Hey everyone, Chen Chen here, bringing you guys another video. Today we got a very special video because I'm going to potentially break the game with uh, introducing this or at least uh, help the auction community quite a bit. So before we get started, huge shout out to Paul from the auction Discord. Uh, he actually showed me this. None of this video is my concept. It is all him and or originated for him. I don't know if this is, uh, you know, he invented it, stuff like that, uh, or someone told him, etc, etc. But if you guys recall from a couple months slash weeks ago, there was a change that allowed Auction's E to go infinite, right? I made a video about it, kind of saying that it wasn't like a huge change. I mean, there's like small niche instances, for example, like right here, uh, stuff like that, like, you know, could be somewhat practical if someone's trying to gank you. It did introduce, for a small time, a uh, weird funnel strat. If you remember, uh, Auction would just hold two waves. Uh, but that, you know, isn't too practical. More or less, what I said was correct. This change doesn't really make things practical. But it did, uh, with this concept, introduce a new semi-really, really broken... Uh, thing that happens with Auction, which is the abuse of E plus right click input buffer. Basically, this allows him to swing indefinitely uh, because of the change, obviously, and it allows him to swing anywhere almost uh, that has like a ledge, right? So, for example, here, boom, infinite. He's not touching anything, he's literally not swinging on anything, as you can see. He's swinging uh, not even on the wall, where as opposed to like Let's say if you do it here, obviously, it latches onto the wall, whereas, you know, there is no wall here, right? So if I do it slowly, uh, it latches on here. So this is the same spot, latches directly here. But, if I do it at the same time, it just randomly hooks to... I don't know if this is a bug, if this is intended, I assume it's not intended. Maybe me making this video <laughs> will make Riot patch it, but... For now, I feel as if it's my due diligence to share it with you guys, because obviously I am known for Auction and uh, I'm known for guides as well, right? So basically how you do this, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. You just E and then right click. Okay, so that time I clicked E and then right click, like roughly uh, a little bit later. You want to press them basically at the same time. Okay, I am fucking it up. It's because I have this instead of like just... Whoops, okay, I am... Wow, okay, here we go. There we go. <laughs> when, when you have a normal cast, I guess it makes it a little bit harder because I see the indication, whereas, yeah, there we go. So, that's all there is to it, right? Now, before I go on, I'm going to share kind of the implications. The biggest one being obviously Baron, right? Baron will be roughly here. Boom. You hit Baron perma. And this is maximum DPS for the most part. Especially if you have a full max up E towards the late game, you are going to be able to out damage Baron by doing this instead of just auto auto like auto auto. I don't even have Q leveled up, but you get you get the point, right? Uh, you are out damaging because it, it just have so much DPS. That 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 was basically the old best way to deal with Baron. You just E here. I made a video about it. You get roughly. I mean, he's placed at a parry. Very bad spot, but you get like six, seven shots, which was pretty good at back in the day. But as auction evolved, and or if this is a bug, uh, okay, oh. infinite damage, especially without items, right? So this is gonna do a shit ton of damage. So that is the first implication. Now, uh, in terms of learning lineups, you actually there's not much lineups, right? It's more of finding like a curvature wall. You see, even that one does it, right? Finding a curvature wall and literally just pressing E and uh, right click at the same exact time, right? Uh, I could probably do it here as well. There we go. I could probably do it here as well. Like, oh, that one might be a little bit harder. Okay, I mean, some areas might not work, but uh, basically what I recommend you guys to do is go and practice tool, literally just practice this i feel as if it is a super important mechanic and holy fuck oh my god what is going on wait hello there we go <laughs> it is a super super practical mechanic 
and it is consistent, right? If you have a lot of practice on this, you can do it very consistently. So there we go. Let me show you the Drake setup real quick. Kind of go inside here, and there we go. Okay, you gotta aggro him first so you don't get knocked out, but you're gonna do consistent DPS. It's very good. Alright, so yeah, after uh, the objectives, you might be asking Chen Chen, what else is this practical for uh, when it comes to games? Let me show you. So, a very, very cool aspect of this is you can almost do it to most walls, right? Uh, once again, go to practice tool, practice. This one's a lot harder, I won't lie. I don't know exactly the full lineup on this one, to be honest. Could be like from this angle. Yeah, I think this one. This angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so going from upwards is actually a lot easier. So when you're asking about practicality, you can do jungle lock shot now. This actually allows jungle lock shot. Normally you want to start red. Uh, red, you kind of stand... Obviously I haven't like practiced every line. I think you maybe stand here. Or no, you stand somewhere around here. I'll figure it out eventually, I think. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, that one swung me out. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, so you can see Jungle Auction is viable if you're able to do this. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is Paul's concept. Paul was nice enough to, you know, obviously I asked him if I could post this, uh, give permission, stuff like that. Paul was nice enough to offer uh, his recording of the clear if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested at uh, Jungle Auction's clear. He clears both sides, 330 uh, leashless, which obviously that, that's all a jungler can ask for. And he's roughly, I believe, 75-ish HP, which is super good. So if any of you love to play Akshan and want to bring him to the jungle, you can now do that with this E mechanic. Um, I basically explained everything. Uh, some of these walls, like obviously I've never tested a wall here. I assume it works as well. Kind of seems like it works. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, it almost looks like it does. Okay, I lied. This one's kind of hard. There we go. Okay, yeah. So you can see, it unironically works on most walls, right? Um, yep, so I showed the practicality and objectives. I showed it in terms of jungle auction. You can actually do it in mid as well if you play mid auction. Boom, there we go. You can do it every single four. I'm not going to try to... Uh, land it because obviously I, I'm not great at doing it right now. I can only do the objective one consistently, like this one I've never failed in my life, whereas these does take a little bit of lineup, potentially a little bit of uh, practice. Yeah, I mean, it's just not cooperating. There we go. There we go. Okay, very good. So yeah, like I said, takes practice. The last practical area I want to show is it does work at towers as well. So let me see if I can do it here. There we go. So that is basically everywhere, right? Works in objectives, which is probably the most useful one, right? Because you're not playing against like units or enemies that can obviously like just block you, right? Number one auction counterplay when he's on his E, you literally just stand in front of him and you block it. So objective. Taking is super quick. Jungle taking is probably the second most effective. And then the third most effective is there are going to be niche cases where you can do it like this and you can probably cheese out kills. So that is pretty cool. Anyways, that is it for the video. Like I said, if you want to see the jungle clear for Auction, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Once again, huge shout out to Paul. He was nice enough to uh, voice chat with me because I was struggling. He, he basically like, he sent in a post saying, hey guys, if you want to learn how to do infinite E angles, uh, DM me, and I did, obviously, and he sent me, like, videos of it, but I'm fucking stupid, so <laughs> I was like, yo, can you voice chat and show it to me, and he was very nice and helped me out, so huge shout out to Paul, thank you all so much for watching, hope you have a great day, chin chin out.